Hi everyone, I'm Ms. Rosani Harvey and I am an art teacher and I would like to show you how to use an app called Stop Motion Studio. It is free to download to your iPad and a um, iPhone. It may also be available on Android. That is something that you should check out. So when I first open it, you'll be able to see the icon for it. Again, it's called Stop Motion Studio and there are some paid aspects of it, but you can create an entire stop motion video without paying for any of those things. Um, and I am going to walk you through how to use the camera on your phone or your iPad to create stop motion video. And then you can use this in a variety of different ways. Um, so stay tuned and I will get started. Okay, so here's the app. That little camera icon is the icon that you're looking for. And I prepared some post-its with just a little circle that gets bigger, some lines grow out of it, just something very simple. And then I also use this apple in the animation. So I uh, made the post-its go in a specific order. So here I am sorting them. And what you're seeing is what I see in Stop Motion Studio. So this is the screen. So I place the apple and I hit that red button, which is a shutter button. It took a picture. Now, every time you see my hands enter the frame, I'm moving the, um, the apple and also replacing the post-it. I don't think I moved the apple for the first three. And then I realized I needed to move it. So every time I move that, it's going to look like the apple is kind of moving its way towards the post-it. And every time you see the red button flash, that is me tapping the shutter button. And every time that happens, it creates a new frame at the bottom of the screen. So you can see that eventually what we end up with is about 30 frames. And then I will show you a couple of other tools. If you move your iPad or your phone, it will show up as movement each time you take the picture. So I did that on purpose. I wanted to kind of move over a little bit and then move back. Um, and I left so much extra space on the, on the left side of the apple so that I could create some movement. Now I decided to have the apple and the post-it interact with each other. And then when you get to a certain point, it's good to watch it. So I, right underneath the shutter button, there's a play button. And this is what it looks like so far. And I kept turning the apple with my hand so that it looks like it's spinning. Now on the program, there are a number of different tools. So you can change the speed make it slower, make it um, a little faster. And then there's some premium features. So if you do want any of the premium filters or anything like that, you can, of course, if that's something you want, the one fil filter that's free is the black and white. So um, here's my animation again. And then the next thing that I'm going to show you is that control to the left with the grid and the um, number one at the top, that is your, um, your frames. And so this is very helpful when doing animations that rely on very dis specific movements. So I, once I take a picture, you can see that picture as I move it. So I can see how much the apple will move. I can see what path it's going down. And so that is really helpful. I didn't have it on in the beginning because I wanted to be able to explain it. And so if you see the post-it, I'm, I'm gonna start integrating the post-it in the apple together. So it's good for me to see where it left off and because you also do want some movement. So if you don't move your objects, it won't look like it's animated. And the more you move that, the more frames you'll see. I think it's helpful to at least see one, but if you're doing a drawing, a line drawing animation, it's very helpful to see a few. And then I move the apple off. And here we go. So it's gonna play. Here it goes. Puts the post-it on and runs away. 
So it really uh, brings that to life. There's some uh, manual camera features that you can use. And, um, you know, I encourage you to try some of these. I wanna keep this video very basic so that you are not overwhelmed by possibilities. So then it's time to export. There are a number of options for exporting. You can export it as a movie file, an animated GIF, all the images separately, or a flip book, or a project in um, Stop Motion Studio. And that's it. Once you hit that arrow to the left, it will go back to your home screen and it saves all of your projects.